Wayne State University announced this morning that it is switching to remote classes as pro-Palestine rallies continue on campus. The university announced that it would remove an encampment that went up last week. As of today, it's still there. Andres Gutierrez has our coverage from the encampment. Is the latest reaction to the university's latest move. Good evening, Terrence. There are about 20 or so tents occupying this portion of Wayne State University, and unless you're looking for it, it is very hard to spot from the major thoroughfares like Cass and Warren Avenues. And so that is why some staff members believe that the university's decision to go all virtual was not necessary. They're not being disruptive. They're surrounded by a barrier. And unless you're, you know, peering in, you don't even see what's happening. Wayne State Professor Rayfield Waller is one of the staff members in support of the five day old encampment that students put up demanding the university stop financially supporting companies that contribute to military actions against Palestinians. As citizens, we're not as in control of our democracy or of our public culture, public space, public investment, public policy because of the encroachment of corporations on um, the functions of democracy. That's what this is about. Organizers say this encampment is a response to the one at the University of Michigan coming down. They wanted to show that students across the state are standing with Palestine. This is in a solidarity with all encampments. This is in solidarity with all Palestinian people all around the world. This is in solidarity against injustice no matter where it happens. Although there have been rumors of a possible police raid, it hasn't deterred protesters. And even more so, those protesters feel the current police presence is a scare tactic. The university has felt pressure from the organizers, from the students, from the community, all coming together to make them go remote. The group was offered a meeting with university leadership Tuesday if the encampment was removed by the end of Monday, which didn't happen. In a letter, the university president wrote, quote, this offer was a good faith attempt to find a path to dismantle the encampment. Though this offer was immediately declined, university leadership continues to encourage dialogue and meetings with all students to hear, discuss, and address important concerns. We want the university to divest from Israel, and we want them to invest into Detroit. We would like them to invest into Detroit. Divest from Israel, invest into your local companies. The, unit, the people in this area need it more than Israel does. They need it more than war manufacturing companies. And so organizers say they do want to meet with leadership here, but on their own terms. So they're asking for the university president to come out to the encampment and meet with them tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. We'll, of course, be monitoring the story for you. Reporting live in Midtown Detroit, Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.